Okay, hello everybody, it's Sadge of a Day Crow. It's been a while since I've done one of these since YouTube took away my ability to do live videos from mobile. So this is going to be a very interesting video to try to do because I can't change camera setting or um, from front to back. I don't know why, but I can only do that with the YouTube live app, which I can't use now because I don't have a thousand subscribers. So screw you, YouTube, but you know what? I'm going to keep on doing this. So, today we are trying uh, Tennessee Honey um, Pulled Pork Barbecue from Jack Daniels. Kind of have it kind of even out the camera here, but uh, here we go. So, this is what we are eating. There we go. I did get some little cheese to put on it because, you know, cheese makes everything taste better. So, this is what it looks like cooked. Don't know how well... I could do this because, like I said, I can't just pick my camera up like I used to and just swap camera modes. So, uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. Again, I don't know how well of a, of a video I'm doing here because of that. Because, like I said, I usually just switch the camera view around and there we go. I will try to find a different app, maybe, that I can use for that. That will allow me to switch camera views while recording because this one because I'm using my normal camera recording mode and with that I cannot switch camera modes while recording it sucks it truly does so um, I'll just try to bring this up here so uh, first we're going to take a piece got a nice piece right there and let's give it a smell okay I'm smelling more barbecue spice than whiskey or honey whiskey because Jack Daniels honey whiskey if you have not had Jack Daniels honey whiskey you're missing out on something that stuff will cure you if you got a sore throat and it has a distinctive unique strong potent smell and I cannot smell that in here so whatever spices they used in here you know they didn't use enough of Jack Daniels or they use too little or whatever. The spice might be too overpowering. That's why I can't smell it. I haven't tasted it yet. So, uh, bottoms up. Mmm. Still not getting a whiskey taste, but, oh, wow. That was, that tiny piece had so much flavor in it. I could taste the sweetness of honey. Not so much the barbecue dry, the barbecue rub and stuff, but that honey taste, whoo, that, that was good. Uh, so now we're going to put the bun on, take a big old bite. Mmm. See, I definitely can't taste... The whiskey part, but I can definitely taste the honey part. That's actually very interesting. Like, I've noticed some alcohols when cooking with them. The whiskey taste, like, if it's like, has a second flavor in it, like this one's whiskey honey. If you cook with it, the honey tastes enhanced. Or if you cook with Admiral Nielsen's coconut rum, it leaves behind a very strong coconut taste that normally you cannot really taste when you just drink the alcohol. So, uh, that's why I'm definitely tasting. I'm tasting the honey. The barbecue sauce mixed with the honey is... It's out of this world in flavor. The flavor matrix is so complex, I can't describe it. Uh, but this is very, very sweet. So if you want a very sweet pulled pork, Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Pulled Pork is the one for you. This was about, I think, 6 $7 at Walmart. But it is well worth it. This is the best pulled pork I have ever had that's not smoked. Usually, I have smoked pulled pork, and that's actually very good, but this creation here, I don't know if they smoke it or not, but quality is definitely their highest priority here. Quality and flavor. So, overall, 10 out of 10. And normally, I don't eat anything with barbecue sauce because it tears my stomach up. And also, some barbecue sauces just have a very nasty aftertaste flavor or even uh, an initial flavor this one the initial flavor is sweet it's delicious the aftertaste or the after flavor is very sweet as well so it doesn't like 
you know, you take a bite of it, it's so good, but then it leaves that nasty lingering taste in your mouth. This does not do that. I can still taste the honey in it. That's, it's, it's really good. I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. And I am going to look for a camera app that allows me to switch back and forth so I can make these videos a little bit more easy because I know you guys like these and I love food. So, the two of us are meant to be. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe, leave comments, and as always, have a nice day. Live, love, game on. If there's any foods you want to see me try or any drinks, uh, let me know in the comments below. Peace.